Hey everybody and welcome back. So I have learnt my lesson from the last two videos and I am not going to bother with that uh, sort of previously on bit that I do at the start because I forget every time the game has a previous, uh, previously on Alan Wake section and it's much better than anything I can do so I'll leave the game handle that. At the start though, I just want to say thank you all for checking out this video, it does mean a lot and if you guys could leave a like, leave a comment and hit the subscribe button, that would be awesome. Right, let's get started, shall we? Previously on Alan Wake, I'm haunted by the law. Sheriff, Wake's running, I'm giving chase. Are you seriously telling me that writer just took out my deputies? A thriller I supposedly wrote is coming true. The genre of the story seems to be shifting. It's turning into a horror story. I was told that Alice had been kidnapped, but that was a lie. We don't have his wife. We don't know where she is. Her purported kidnapper was eaten up by the dark presence before it attacked me. Alan, shh, baby. It was just a nightmare. Alice. I fell. I had to give you a sedative. Don't fight it. I... You went through another rough period. What? Right now, it's very important that you stay calm. We don't want you to have another episode. You're a patient at my clinic. Have been for a while now. The shock of your wife's death triggered a mental illness. No, you're... you lie. You're suffering from various symptoms of undifferentiated schizophrenia. Bastard. It's okay, okay Alan. I felt groggy. Whatever Hartman had bumped in me was making me numb. I felt like this was happening to someone else. Someone I was watching on television. I couldn't think. Couldn't focus. Like I said before, and I'll say it again, considering the game empty sheets of paper. is... No manuscript pages. About 11 years old? Yeah, about 11. It looks really good, like for a remaster. Good evening, Alan. Are we feeling better now? Feeling calm? Yeah. I see you brought your pet gorilla with you. So sure, I'm calm. I get the message. Loud and clear. Quite right. That's the spirit? You're being very brave, Alan. I understand you're confused. I would be more concerned if you weren't suspicious of me. I don't blame you for it. Big of you. Now, why don't you come with me? We'll reacquaint you with my clinic and go over everything you might have forgotten. Little walk and some fresh air? Yes, it will do you good. This corridor is for patients. Most of them aren't here right now. Jack took them out for a fishing trip. Except for the ones who are particularly vulnerable, of course. I encourage creativity as a part of the recovery process here at Cauldron Lake Lodge. I specialize in treating artists. <laughs> it's a standing there, watch me run a road. Splendid, Alan. I honestly believe we can get this thing under control if we work together. This way, Alan. The Andersons, so the two, uh, th yeah, the two old men from the diner. Now, Alan, from past experience with you, I know I need to get right into the heart of the matter as quickly as I can after an episode. So I'm just going to say this. Alice is dead. No. You're in a very vulnerable state until you understand and accept this. Alice drowned. And you couldn't face that. You're suffering from hallucinations, paranoid delusions, unusual thinking, an obsession about light and darkness, a feeling that everything revolves around you, your thoughts and dreams. Your mind has constructed an elaborate fantasy scenario in which your writings are affecting reality. She has been kidnapped and supernatural forces of darkness are trying to stop you. 
we go this way, Alan? I wasn't ready for another shot, so I went along with it. He had to be lying. But under the influence of the drug he had given me, I had to fight not to believe his words. It's all in your head. You've been making it up. Apart from the tragic accident with your wife, no one has been killed. Your delusions are just a manifestation of your subconscious mind trying to protect you from the too painful truth. Unless we fight the fantasy, it will return. I know the instinct is to resist me, but think about it. Doesn't this make far more sense than the insane supernatural conspiracy you have concocted in your mind? You're a skeptic by nature, Alan. We both know this. Everything can be explained logically. Never get tired of this view. Very inspiring, isn't it? Cauldron Lake spread below us. I could see Mira Peak on the other side of the lake. I thought I could make out the spot where Diver's Isle had been when I arrived with Alice. Now there was nothing but waves. It seems there's a storm coming. Funny, I don't recall there being a mention of that in the weather forecast. Well, no matter. This way, follow me. Alan, what I'm telling you is good news. Right now, we're in control. Every time you have a relapse, it gets more and more difficult to resurface from the dark depths of your imagination. Not surprising, considering your profession. Imagination is what you work with. After all your nightmares, this should come as an immense relief to you. If it doesn't, why is that? Because I'm lying? Or because you don't want to admit that you're not well? It's very natural for you to think of me as your enemy. It's part of the I let him talk. Hartman I'm obviously loved his own voice. His words echoed madly inside my head. But I, I dug my nails into the palms myself. of my hands to stay focused. You need to work with me. Once you accept that, we can begin the journey towards your recovery. Come along. Let's go inside. Yeah, he really doesn't shut up. Here's the entrance to the office wing. That's for staff only. You were impressed by my trophies when you first arrived here. I do love to hunt. The great outdoors, man versus nature. It's wonderful stuff. Pretty damn wonderful, yeah. Scary, scary, scary. <laughs> Emerson. <laughs> I'm a real bad dream, mister. You should be afraid of me. Don't want to run into me in the night, that's for sure. Please, Emerson. Mr. Wake is confused enough as it is. Yeah, you'd like me to go away so you won't be scared. But you can't just decide what kind of dream you have or when you have it. Emerson. Okay, okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Ew. That's Emerson. We're actually making some progress with him, I'm happy to say. He works on video games. Ooh, yeah. It's ah. trash, of yeah. course, yeah. but it does I'll involve some small yeah. creative effort, which makes him receptive to my therapeutic methods. No kidding. Uh. Uh. Mm -hmm. Sorry about that. Uh, my brother knocked the door. Anyway. Oh, what the hell? Now, you might have noticed the typewriter in your room. You've been writing as a part of the therapy. As soon as you feel up to it, you should continue. Red. My rheumatism's killing me. There's a storm coming. Oh! What a storm! I hope it wipes this place off the face of the earth. And these two are the Anderson brothers, Odin and Tor. They had a... how should I put this? A heavy metal band in the 70s and 80s called Old Gods of Asgard. 
They even adopted new first names to complete the image of Viking gods. After the band broke up, they lived on a farm nearby. They are, well, in advanced stages of dementia. They are well cared for, TLC and all that. There's nothing more that can be done. I'm afraid that the rock and roll lifestyle has left its mark. No, that won't do. I'm so sorry to cut this short for now, Alan. The power has been acting up. I'd better go check on it. We'll continue this soon. Meanwhile, when you feel up to it, return to your room and try to write. It really is for the best. Don't you think? I'd like to bash his head in with a hammer. Oh, he'd love to fish out our secrets, but he has no clue. He's not crazy enough. <laughs> not crazy like us, Sonny. Yeah. Being ah. crazy is a requirement, Sonny. Who else could understand the world when it's like this? It takes crazy to know crazy. That's the sanest thing I've heard in a while. <laughs> <laughs> Say, you're all right, Tom. Hey, we like him, don't we, bro? He's got to go to the farm. The Anderson Farm. Valhalla! We wrote it all down, lest we to forget. A crash course. All you need to know to get your head right. You need to find the message. Here, Sonny, here's something for you. Gave me a rash, but I kept it safe from these bastards. Yeah. I was clearing up, or according to Hartman, I was sinking back into the fantasy. Night I was springs. Convinced he was lying to me about everything. Crazy or not, the Andersons made more sense. Tom, got any booze on you? Yeah, uh, no. <laughs> Sorry, we have guys. a stash of the special stuff at the farm. Our own formula, local ingredients, medicine clears your head right up. Makes you remember like moonbeams on the brain. Ah, oh, I just noticed leather patches on the elbows. That's not very rock and roll. Tom just lost his all. Baba Yaga got to him too, the damn witch. <laughs> I kind of like these two guys. Taken from all of us. Took my thunder, the witch. And my ravens. What was it? What were they? Memory and thought. The hag. She took something from you too, didn't she? That's what, what she does. What is he painting? Um, we're better off. This place, the lake, it gives you power. Hmm. If you're a creator, an artist... I'm stuck. Oh, there you go. Oh, thank God. In the darkness of the lake. <laughs> yeah, that's the one. All right, I'm sure spend enough to uh, time with my two favorite characters. Just ask the lamp lady. She knows what to and yeah, also these two guys, so the little band they formed, the uh, the old gods of Asgard, they actually perform the the end song to this episode, I think, which is you know actually made by poets of the fall, but yeah. Why don't you humor Dr. Hartman and give the writing a shot, huh? Typewriter's in your room. You can get to your room by those stairs, Wake. Time to give the writing a shot. I'm not myself. It's hard to think that there's a shadow inside my head. I can only focus on writing. Everything else is a blur. I'm trapped in this cabin. Have been for days, but it's always dark outside. My editor is real. I saw her again. She's not human. It's not human. A dark presence is wearing the old woman's face. She was covered in clinging shadows. There's a hole in her chest where her heart should be. I think I've made a horrible mistake. I don't think I'm any closer to saving Alice. It's been lying to me, using me to get the story it wants, and the story will come true. Ah. The thick plottens. Ah, thermos. I might be cray, but uh, the only thing I really am cray for apparently are uh, thermoses. Still. 
Hartman had mentioned that the power had been acting up. Maybe that was the reason for the generator and the work light on the balcony. The generator hadn't been activated, and there was no key. Okay, where's my room? Ah, wake. The white glare of the blank page in front of me hurt my eyes. My hands began to shake uncontrollably. Hey, wake! You stay here. I'm gonna go see what's up. You just keep doing what you're doing. Be cool, okay? I didn't know what the chaos was all about, but it could be my only chance of getting out of here. Oh, they're having fun. Sinclair looked bad. That wasn't a love tap. The crazy old fart hit her hard. And if she was one of Hartman's goons, she had it coming. I could get the key to the office room from Sinclair. I had to get to Hartman's office. He had taken all my manuscript pages. That's where he'd been keeping them. I do like that the old Lee is, for some reason, hiding from these two. I mean, granted, they did get the best of the uh, of the nurse, but I'm sure he's his entire purpose here is to like overpower those guys in case they get out of hand, right? Like, why else would he be here? The markings on the tape said they were recordings Hartman had made at the sessions with his patients. I saw Alice's name on one of them. For a moment, I couldn't believe it. Right. Why is he hiding behind the cutout? Man, am I glad to see you. We need to get to Hartman's office. It's right next door. You okay? Yeah. I mean, no. The cops found me at Rose's trailer, but they didn't hassle me too much. I'm obviously a victim in this, and I demanded to be treated as such. Or else I'd sue their asses. Speaking of asses, that fed gave me a real hard time. But I had no clue where you were. That guy's crazy, Al. But he let me go, and then I get a call from Hartman, that son of a bitch, who tells me you're here, and I should come pick you up. But when I got here, two goons clobbered me and stuck me in there. What's... what's with the cutout? I stole it from the diner to piss off Rose after what she did to us. Ah, eh, fair enough. These were all the pages I had on me. And more. Alan, please. You're sliding back into the... Tell me one more lie and I'll shoot you in the face. Ah, well, it was worth a shot. Really, Wake, come on. Let's work together on this. You have no idea... Hartman, what... shut up! Barry, get out of here. I'll catch up with you. Get a car. Oh, Al, let's just... Go! Wake, listen to me. This is a mistake. Don't you see? Together we can create something absolutely wonderful with your ability and mine.
Time to leave. Oh wow, that is creepy. Yeah, let's go. Go, go on. Come on. Yeah, poltergeist. I doubt I'll be able to get through there with one flare somehow. But at the same time, apparently I got no choice. What do you do that for? Come on. Yeah, man. Ah, right. I have to guide it to the door, do I? Ah, wait. No, I have to bring it. Oop, nope, nope. It doesn't need my help. Come on. Oop. Take this, Al. Yep, no time to linger. Oh god. Yeah, I'm with you 110%, Barry. Just need to find my way out of here. didn't peg these guys for the uh, hedge maze type. Clearly I was wrong. Hey, manuscript page.
Ah, it's the big guy. Oh god. There you go. Ah, it's that guy. Can't say I'm gonna regret this. Oh my god. Stupid birds. Oh yeah. Those guys really had that coming. Pains in the ass. Look at them. Hey, flagon. And a thermos. That's what I want. Okay, there is a way through. Oh no. Uh, why did that guy just attack that statue? Making good progress here, can't be that far from Barry. So many poltergeists around you. Okay, I'll say it. This place is far too big. Far, far too big.
Ah, Thanos. Barry, my old buddy. Ah, sight for so eyes. And the Let's gate's locked. Can you open this gate? Maybe. Barry. Uh, well, I slammed it shut when the nasty showed up, and the key fits kind of loose in the lock, so, uh... Barry! I'll find it! Don't worry about it! Yeah, I'm worrying about it, Barry. Hey, my fan club's appeared Hurry up, Barry. in on mass. On. How do you get up there? No autographs today. God damn it, Barry. Here it is. Oh, yeah. Here we go, here we go. Al, please tell me we're headed for the nearest. You're now leaving Bright Falls. Come back soon, sign. We're going to the Anderson farm. I knew you were going to say something like that. You know what? You owe me big time for this. When this is through, if we make it, I don't care what anybody says, I'm done with darkness. You're going to buy me a tanning bed as a gift, and I'm going to live in it. I kind of like that line, actually. You're gonna buy me a tanning bed as a gift, and we're gonna live. I I'm gonna live in it. I'm crazy, but that's fine, Mary. <laughs> oh, you got that right, Al. You're barking mad. You are by far the craziest. But maybe that's inevitable when you deal with crazy stuff like this. It helps. This is happening, Barry. Alice, they never had Alice. She's trapped in the darkness at the bottom of the lake, but she's not dead. Al, how can you know that? I know, Barry. I can... Al, I... No, listen. I can bring her back. I can find her. There's something special about this place. The lake, it, it does something to the works of art created here. It makes them come true. But there's a catch. The dark presence, whatever that thing is, twists it to its own ends. That's why all of this is happening. It's using my manuscript to take over everything. Al, I believe you. It happened to Thomas Zane before. It happened to the Andersons. I believe you. Crazy or not, you're not delusional. Weird shit's going down. That's a fact. I'm on board, man. I'm with you. The Andersons knew about it, but they were too far gone to tell me with all the drugs they were on. But they wrote it down. There's a message somewhere at their farm, Barry. We just need to find it. Look out! Well, any landing you can walk away from. Barry was nowhere to be seen. Barry! Barry! Oh, man, you're okay! Jeez, it's good to hear your voice! I was trying to get out of the car, but the ground gave way! Man, what a drop! And don't worry, your cutout is fine! Forget that! Are you okay? I hit some bushes, didn't get a scratch! There's no way you can climb down, though. It's like a sheer wall. Ah, Al, there's something moving down here. Barry, it's a taken. Use a flare, Barry. Oh, yeah! 
Barry, are you all right? <laughs> I'm good, Al. I'm great. Guess you never messed with anyone from New York City before, huh? Yeah, there he is. You're gonna have to find your way around to the floor now. I'll be waiting. Barry, just wait for me, okay? Ow! I'm not staying here. It's suicide. I'm going to the farm. I'm gonna go ahead and secure the area. You can catch up. Don't worry about it. I'm on the case. Now he's Rambo. Yep. This would turn into a disaster if I didn't catch up with Barry. Right, let's go save Barry. Now, see, that wasn't even any darkness there. These trees are just falling down now. I take it back. Oh, come on. This is ridiculous. I don't have anything to fight off these guys. Uh, well, actually, there was a light back there. I should probably have turned that on. Yeah, nope. Oh, come on. Come on, Alan. Run. Or wheeze with that weird asthma you got. Writer's asthma. There you go. A, hmm, there were some poltergeist things on the end here, so I'm not too sure where they are. Ah, there we go. This isn't really the rescue effort I was expecting. At this rate, I'm going to need someone to come and help me. Still be a working generator somewhere around here to power up the old lights by the gate. I could sense the movement in the woods ahead. Facing the enemy without a weapon was dangerous, but I had no choice. Yeah, the more he speaks, the more I'm convinced someone's gonna have to come and rescue me eventually. Oh. Oh, what am I supposed to do? Come on. Ah, I'm dead. God damn it. Yeah, not quite sure how to get around that. Except maybe run I could sense the movement in the run to the generator cook. Facing the enemy without a weapon was no, let's do this. No yeah, it's this weird asthma thing. It's it's kind of annoying. Like you can only run but run for like five seconds before he starts wheezing and panting. It's 
now, my god. And the guy's not overweight or anything, so I don't know why he can only run that amount of time. There we go. Oh! Oh, come on! I call it bullshit. Yeah. Yeah, he also gets stuck on scenery too. Yeah, that's an awkward scene. Uh, not quite sure how to get around that. Using the enemy without a weapon was dangerous, but I had no choice. And there's no weapon here for me to use. Actually, yeah, so if I run in a straight line, maybe that'll help. Maybe. How could they catch up with me? So easily. God damn the cardio on these guys. It's impressive. Oh, I was so close. I was so close. I could sense the movement in the woods ahead. Facing the enemy without a weapon was dangerous, but I had no choice. Hmm, this... What? What was this? Ah, trust no one in the dark. Thanks for nothing. It's not like that's what I've not been doing, you know. Right, now they appear. Damn it, Alan, you give writers a bad name. An unfit name. No! Oh, thank... Oh, really? You have to get that last hit in, do A car was driving away from the farm, headed in the same general direction as I was. For all I knew, it was Barry, caught in the consequences of leaping before looking. That doesn't sound like Barry. Not the Barry I know. As far as camping spots go, this is actually pretty nice. I mean, it's in a very haunted forest with a bunch of axe-wielding, sickle-throwing psychos, but other than that, it's kind of nice. The car was heading for the cabin up ahead. It wasn't far. If it was Barry, I would see the damage soon. It's also near a farm, where the two brothers who owned the f said farm made a bunch of weird moonshine that could possibly make you blind. I think I'd put that in the bonus section, maybe. Yeah, I'd put that in the bonus section. Hillbilly moonshine. I'm trying to deliver each page to the right time and place. I'm trying to show you how the story goes. I had seen glimpses of the light before. I had seen it in my dream. It was a strange spaceman or a diver in a bulky suit. He was the one who'd been placing the pages on my path. Ah, yes, I remember this. I was going to run into that just now. Nope, I learnt my lesson from it. Ah, you prick. Yeah, yeah, I know. Asshole. No, oh, of course. Someone had left a gun behind. Now I had a fighting chance of reaching the farm. 
the Taken are filled with darkness. Just in case, you know, you haven't been paying attention. Just to remind you. Nope. Not walking into another bloody bear trap. Why are there so many bear traps? How come these guys aren't walking into them too? Considering they are supposed to be mindless idiots to an extent. Best not to linger. Oh, is this the house? Is this the house? Oh no. Ah! Yeah, right, screw this. And screw you all. Forgive you. Now, after hearing all that, would any sane person really go upstairs? I mean, I certainly wouldn't. But knowing my luck, pricks probably got their bloody car keys with them. Ah, no, not the jail cell guy. I turned the lights on for him and everything. I barely knew him. I mean, not in, like, the usual sense when people say that. I mean, I literally barely knew him. Ah! I've run through every possible course in my head. If I continue like the Dark Presence wants me to, the story I'm writing won't save Alice. It's a horror story. And it's going to kill her, and me, and everybody in this town. No one will survive. Darkness will consume everything. This is what it's wanted all along. It will be free, unstoppable. It used Alice to get to me, dangled her in front of me to keep me going. It was never going to release her. I'm going to change this. I'll escape. I've written myself into the story. I'm now the protagonist. This feels like a terrible risk, but it's the only way to save Alice. I'll be bound by the events of the story just as much as anyone else who's been woven into it. The story must stay true for this to work. There have to be victims along the way. Near escapes. Cliffhangers. 
In a horror story, it can't be certain that the hero will succeed or even survive. He almost has to die. I'll write my own escape into the story next. I need help. Zane's going to be the one who will help me. I'll make it happen. This is some weird dated technology this town has. I suppose that's part of the charm. Weird block TVs and CRT monitors. away. I'd need a car to get there fast. Did you guys notice that just then? How Alan's got that really good firm grasp of the obvious? That door was locked. Yeah, that's why I'm climbing out the window. Oh, where the window used to be. Finally, some if wheels. If wasn't up here, he was probably in trouble down at the farm. For a moment, I felt bad for doubting him. After all, I made it this far myself. But Barry was Barry. Gotta stop for a thermos. No, I'm not a monster. Okay, now back to saving my friend. I shall just take a quick look to see up here. Well, as I'm sure everyone's noticed, that storm we all felt coming is finally here. The boys at the weather service reckon it'll last until morning at the very least. Uh, pertaining to that, let me uh, read that missing persons alert again. The Sheriff's Department's still looking for a Caucasian woman, 30 years old, slim and blonde with blue eyes. She may be lost in the woods, and it's possible she's been injured in a car accident. If you see her, please make sure you get her indoors and call the Sheriff. It's bad weather to be caught out in, so if you see someone in the area who maybe looks a little confused, give him a hand, all right? <clears throat> this is Pat Main on KBF FM. Hoping you're all safe and warm. What is that? Is that where I'm going? Not meant to be going. Kinda looks like something's sort of exploded and there's smoke in the distance. Okay, get fucked. I'm g get past. Nope. Get into a car and leave. No. Oh wow, look at this. Uh, that's not a good state for a car to be in.
Ah, no, Alan. Hmm. All right, that that went a lot smoother than I thought it would. You red? Uh, right, I have to jump down here, do I? Hmm, jeez, I wonder what's going to happen now when I jump into this open field. This empty open field. Yay. Ah, so I'll be able to light that. Oh, wait. Ah, bandstand. There used to be some kind of rock stars, but it hadn't really sunk in until I saw the stage. Again, uh, rise uh, no rise against uh, poets of the fall singing. No, ah, uh, switch. No, oh, there you go. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what was happening there. Like I was facing one way, he was running the other. I'm so glad you decided to go it alone, Mr. Bronson. Shut up and shoot. Ow! We have to fight them all. I can tell off more of the fireworks from here and help you out. God damn it, I got no excuse. So glad you decided to go it alone, Mr. Bronson. Shut up and shoot. Damn. Ow! We have to fight them all! I can tell off more of the fireworks from here and help you out! Yeah, I need to heal while it's there. Because this is gonna fizzle out soon, right? Yeah, there you go.
please, please. I think if I remember right, if I just hold them off long enough, there is a, a spectacular finish. I may have to change guns. I think it's a shotgun over here, right? Let me see if I can get the last two shots off. Yeah, I really, really need to sit down and just go through the soundtrack for this game again. Because if I remember right, they do more than one track for control as well. I think there's another. I think I think there actually is one in the in the soundtrack that's titled "Poets of the Fall." Maybe I can't quite remember. Yeah. <laughs> that was awesome! Bright Falls, rock and roll capital of America. I'm not a hundred percent sure why they would rig it to blow up their own shed, but you know, that's quite rock and roll, I guess. Now, uh, let me loot everything I can. Say loot. Loot. Let me loot everything I can. Not loot. Hey, Al! This way to the farm! Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. Seller, no reason to worry. Your cutout's good as new, right where I left it. I'll come back for it once we have the place secured. Hey, I think Alan Wake here has something to say. Uh, what's that, Al? I'm Alan Wake. I'm always right about everything. And if I don't get my way, I'm sunk all day long. I'm always intense and moody. It makes me very attractive and mysterious. Right now, I'm just standing here because I need my best friend Barry to carry me. But that's okay. I can just take him for granted. I think I see what you did there. Yeah, it was pretty good. You want me to do my imitation of Barry Wheeler? No? Thought so. Um, no, I just go into it. Thought I might have to break something. I do have to break something. Wow! <laughs> you look at that thing, Al. They really went off. Sleep. We all spend a third of our nights sleeping. Ah. Somewhere to gain memories. Hey, remember when I got you that gig? Your first real writing job. What got you started? Was this one of your episodes? Tonight's episode The Dream of Dreams. Ah, that's by someone else. No. Now we join Mr. Jones. He explores the endless dreamscape, only to be brought to a sense by a decidedly unfortunate situation. A long line of people. Hey, Jones, right? Listen, wouldn't that have to wait until his finest over there is coming ready? Oh, wow. Who's that? The Viking boat looked imposing, almost like a battering ram. That's exactly how I planned to use it.
that was that that's actually quite a decent sort of you know tool list actually yeah well done to them before they went you know insane What is he doing? Oh, he's disappeared. He's one of those guys. Has he disappeared? Where did Barry go? Like he just ran out of there. Wait, how did you? How did he get you? If I had to destroy a car, basically, to get you. Damn, impressive. Wow, those geezers had quite a production going on. Oh, you know what, Al? If we make it through this alive, I'm gonna start representing them. Yep, sell this stuff online. Maybe get a reality show going. Release a new single. Good luck with that, pal. Hey, you find us a way out of here, okay? I'm gonna take a closer look at this stuff. All right, you inspect the, the moonshine. From the other side, I'd have to find another way. Can I blow something up? Is that my answer to everything? Yes. Yes, it is. That is the strategy I plan to employ when I play Far Cry 6. If something's in my way, just blow it up. As you regular listeners know, I tend to work through the night, but I'm not the only one. Deputies Mulligan and Thornton are taking a couple of moments off their busy schedule to join me here in the studio. Boys, how busy are you now? Deerfest is almost here, isn't it? I bet that keeps you in business. Pretty busy, yeah. Actually, Pat, we've been real busy with other stuff. 
which concerns an ongoing investigation. We can't talk about that, Thornton. I wasn't gonna say anything. I'm just saying we got, you know, other irons to fry. And how would you compare your workload to last year's? Things have seemed relatively peaceful to me, but people do tend to get a little wild this time of year. Oh, it's wild, Pat. It's pretty wild. There's been all sorts of trouble this year. Vandalism, fighting, public disturbances. A lot of people gone missing, too. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's pretty much the uh, usual stuff, Pat. Uh, just, you know, uh, a lot more of it. Now, is it just me, or does Deerfest get wilder every year? People seem to be more drunk, at least, or they start earlier and younger. Oh, it's definitely not just you, Pat, but... Definitely, Pat. Hey, I'm talking here, Thornton. Uh... Oh, shoot, I lost my train of thought. Not just me. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, it's wilder, Pat, but actually most of the trouble seems to be coming from grown men. People who ought to know better, you know? Kids are doing fine this year. Well, that's nice to hear, at least. Boys, I want to thank you for stopping by. I'll let you get back to your patrol. Sure thing, Pat. Yeah, sure thing. Yeah, I feel safer knowing they're on the job. I could see the building that had to be the Andersons' home on the other side of the field. It wasn't far now. I wasn't worried about trusting the ramblings of two burned-out geriatric wrecks. They had the goods. Yeah, if they didn't have any answers, they definitely had the moonshine. And at the end of the day, that's all I want. The hillbilly moonshine. Burn you son of a bitch. Come on, where do you think you're going? Excuse me, this is a private function and you weren't invited. Ah, these doors open. Do they? No, they don't. How do I get... Oh. Cool. All right, no, that guy just burst through the door. Fair enough. Okay, an actual key, fair enough. I mean, I can't blow things up, I can't shoot locks off doors. This place is all dusty! You know I got my allergies! Hey, let's go, man. I mean, c can a man just be a man? Oh! Oh! Barry, you open it, because apparently I can't. It's not that heavy, surely. 
two old men lived here. Hey, I think that's the farm on the other side of the field. We're almost there. This farm is a crazy place for crazy people. We should feel right at home then. I didn't notice this until now, but I do like how he, has, he just tucks that shotgun into his tweed jacket. Downstairs was out, but I was sure I could fix that at the fuse box. This is pretty much the kind of setup I was expecting, really, from you know, two sixty-something, seventy-something rock stars. The old gods. No. Lady of the light? That's gotta be what's your face Oh, the old gods know the truth, not now. Cynthia Weaver. Right. Must be. This is also one of my favorite songs, I think Poets of the Fall have done. Uh I think. Cynthia Weaver. We'll stay here for the night and head back to town as soon as it gets light. Hey Al, lots of hours before dawn. Might as well get some rest. And by rest, I mean drunk. Come on, Barry, this is... Yeah, what the hell. I'm gonna stick by you, no matter what, ever, Al. Sure, like a brother. I'm a writer, goddammit. Correct. If I just wanted to, I could write ten books a year. And and they'd be the best books that year. No, you couldn't. That's right, I couldn't. But I could, because I'm a writer. What? What do they put in this stuff? I feel like my brain is coming out of my nose. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get the recipe off of those coots and be a, a, a booze millionaire. I just miss her, Barry. I just want her here with me. I know, Al. I know. So it's gonna be okay. We're gonna make it okay. 